And, and um, we had uh, a Yazidi there who, yeah, you know, and he said to me, I spoke to him afterwards, and he just said, listen, nobody in our community attributes this to Islam. You know, he said, we've been living with Muslims for hundreds of years. And the, uh, the Sabian said the same thing. The Druze said the same thing. You yeah. know, so. In fact, the most painful cry came from the head of the Sunnis of Iraq. You yeah. know, so. But it, it was important, you know, and they, they all shared their, the Christian. We had the, you know, the Christian uh, Catholic Archbishop. We had the. The, a cardinal, sorry, cardinal from the Catholic tradition, with the, the a bishop from the Palestinian Church, you know, also affirming that Muslims have treated the Christians in in the Holy Lands well for centuries. I mean, a book I recently read, which I found fascinating, are the Syriac sources that really haven't been looked at. This is the first time they've been translated into English. But historically, what what people did when they looked at the Muslim, the early period like Fred Donner, they, they looked at the Byzantine sources, but the Byzantines were, they, they, they were, they were oppressing a lot of these religious minorities. But when you look at the actual Malachite church and the Chaldean church and the Nestorian church and the Jacobite church and the Monophysite church, th the stuff they say about Islam is totally different. Like they saw them as liberators and this is the greatest thing that's happened to this region and you know, it's, it's a very different picture that you get from the Byzantine sources.